Before this video begins, this puppy here on the screen is a trigger. If this video is too much, it will direct you to this video on screen. As well as that, I'd greatly appreciate it if you could check out my second channel, where I post almost daily. Let's begin. Snuff films are generally defined these days as short video clips in which a victim is killed or commits suicide. Many of these videos reside on the deepest, darkest depths of the internet, and some can be truly disturbing. Free Guys One Hammer unfortunately was the foundation when it came to snuff films being shared on the internet. The video portrays three men brutally beating a man to death with a hammer. The three men have now been referred to as the Dune Prov Travosk maniacs, and the men responsible for the death of the victim in this video and 20 others was arrested in 2009 and were sentenced to life imprisonment. A more recent video was leaked on the internet of an ISIS prisoner. In this video, the alleged SAA soldier, who is an allegiant to President Bashar al-Assad, is shown being interviewed by ISIS while dressed in an orange jumpsuit. According to ISIS, the man confessed to having run over dead bodies of Islamic State fighters with tanks. The footage then jumps to the man, shackled with a tank driving at him. He jumps in front of the tank track, perhaps to, perhaps to expedite his execution. Karate Murder this video shows a brutal murder in a more than questionable karate dojo in Virginia in 1984. A mentally ill man claims that Jesus Christ himself taught him a new martial art and the students and the instructor of the school force a fight to the death to prove the superiority of the fighting style over his. No weapons were used in the barbaric slaying but the victim dies from repetitive healing stumping to the head, neck, nose and throat within approximately 4 minutes and 39 seconds into the footage. Robert Dwyer was a politician in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. Dwyer called a news conference in Pennsylvania state capital of Harrisburg where he killed himself in front of the gathered reporters with a .357 caliber revolver. Dwyer's suicide was broadcasted later that day to a wide television audience across the state of Pennsylvania. A woman in Africa was publicly stoned to death. The reason for this cruel punishment is unknown, but the disturbing nature caused a viral round on Facebook like many other of these videos do. There are many reasons why people are killed in such cruel ways in third world countries, varying from being homosexual to stealing food for hungry families. I hope you learned something in this video today, whether it is to never traverse the deepest depths of the internet, or never to explore an eerie area alone. For more fascinating lists, subscribe by clicking on the button on screen or down below. Thanks for watching.